course, we're very thankful uh, to ABS-CBN kasi napakaganda nung uh, tribute na binigay nila dun sa daddy ko. So, uh, so on behalf of uh, my family, we'd like to thank ABS-CBN for the wonderful uh, tribute. Yeah, unfortunately, I was working. Uh, I was taping for my new show in another network, in Channel 5. Uh, and uh, although, even if I was there, I, I call every time. That's why time was in the na it was time. So I asked permission. So. They allowed me, naman, but it just so happened that uh, my work was in Subic, so it took a long time before I got to the hospital. Uh, I was talking to my sister, my sisters, Marikita and uh, Donna, and as well as Sasha. So, like I said, maskin malayo ako. Every every ten minutes, siguro tumatago. Every in between takes, tumatago. I always ask them. Ano yung condition ng dati ko? So, so, I was aware, 3 o'clock pa lang, I, I was aware that uh, there was uh, something going on. Although, I was hoping that uh, uh, it will reverse nga and uh, mas bubuti nga yung condition nga because the, for the past month, it has been a roller coaster ride, like I said, no? uh, with our family na minsan okay siya, minsan hindi, minsan okay, minsan hindi. So, so I was hoping that it was just one of those episodes na uh, na nahihirapan lang siya and then he will, you know, uh, surpass it or overcome it that ordeal or whatever he was going through. But it just so happens that uh, it came to a point when uh, um, his body could not uh, tolerate the, the medication already. So, kumbaga parang he was willing, he was fighting, but uh, his body was uh, was going. So, he knew the game. Sir, who first told you about it, and what? How did you feel when you first heard the news? How would you feel if somebody tells you that your father is about to die? Of course, like anyone, like any son, like anybody who hears a news like that. Sure, it's a hard job, lalo na pag nagtatrabaho ka. But of course, you have your commitment. I have my commitment, so some, of course I have to uh, fulfill my commitment. But of course, this is something, sempre, patay mo yan, di ba? So, and I'm, 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 any, I'm sure anybody, any boss will understand the situation. So, and I was very fortunate that, you know, my, my the people who I was working with, are uh, alam nila kung paano ako magtrabaho so yung mga assistant directors ko I just told them sabi ko I, you, you know what I want you know what I do so uh, just try and shoot whatever scenes that I'm going to leave but I really have to go so pinayagan naman nila Direct, may uh, concrete plan na ba for the next uh, couple of days when are you going to accept public viewing the bird oh, uh, uh, we are going to have public viewings every day until Saturday. Until Saturday. Yeah. So that is from eight to three every day, from Thursday, Friday, Saturday at Heritage. And then on Sunday. On Sunday, family na lang. Family na lang yan. And then, uh, then uh, before three o'clock, we'll we'll, uh, we'll bury him in Heritage also. In Heritage, not in Loyola. Sunday. Not in Loyola. Because uh, the yung, yung mausoleum that we have in Loyola, uh, as much as we would want to like, put them there, there are a lot of people there. Eh. So there are uh, eight, uh, eight of my family members, my lolo, my grandparents are all there. My, uh, my uncles, uh, aunts are all there. So we wanted to give them on my dad. It's not that we don't we wanted to, we're taking him out of the family, but we just wanted to give him a special uh, place. So uh, we decided to get the plot in heritage. Did it the the coffin? It was reported that Mangol he bought it. Already. Yeah, he bought it in 1977. 1977. So 
in the 70s I was already planning. So, ano lang yun siguro parang oh, basta pag uh, when something happens to me, wala na kayo iintindihan. Lahat nandiyan dyan. Direct before, before he died, may mga bilin pa siya na I want to wear my wife, wala na siya. He was not, he was responding to us but he could not really talk to us. Puro mga yes or no, yes, no. Sometimes he mouth, I love you, uwi na. The most of the time, ang sinasabi niya was uwi na. Pero yung before the bouts po, the, yun, no. wala doon siya. Nothing about what he's gonna wear, nothing. My dad doesn't wanna talk about these things eh. So even if we talk to him about it, he just doesn't want to talk about it. Parating yung, uh, let's cross the bridge when we get there. Parating ganon. Are we gonna do this? Let's see. Hindi yun sasagot. He doesn't give any concrete or definite answers eh. when it comes to like dealing. Especially yung time pa lang na nalaman namin na may COPD siya. Uh, noon pa lang parang basta... Ayon yun ng may umiya, ayon yun ng pinag-usapan yung kalagay niya. He's aware. Pag kami na naramdaman sa shamis mo mo papa sa sabi niya na dalin yon ako sa ospital.